We've all heard the phrase, get real, at one time or another, usually when someone thinks we're being childish or living in a fantasy land. In American literature, the realist movement expresses a similar idea. Popular from around 1865 to 1900, realism challenged readers to look past myths, assumptions, social norms, and other expectations in order to see the world as it really is. To depict the world in this way, realist writers turned away from grandiose subject matter and instead focused on the lower and middle classes depicting daily life in gritty and sometimes unpleasant detail. The assumption behind this strategy was that literature had the power to change society, and that by depicting life warts and all, writers could improve the world without being too preachy about it. Historically, this effort to depict the world in honest, objective terms found its roots in the invention of photography and the proliferation of newspapers throughout the United States. Whereas painting made it fairly easy to romanticize subjects like war, photography offered stark depictions of its subject matter. And as the number of newspapers in America grew from around 700 in 1830 to over 5,000 in 1870, writers like Mark Twain and William Dean Howells adapted the tenets of journalism to fiction. Yet while Howells offered a fairly straightforward definition of the movement by noting that realism is nothing more and nothing less than the truthful treatment of material, not all realists agreed on the best way to treat material truthfully. Authors like Mark Twain tended to practice a brand of realism known as regionalism. In The Notorious Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, for example, Twain uses dialect and the local flavor of the American West to highlight social and cultural differences between the story's narrator and the rambling Simon Wheeler. By way of contrast, authors like Charlotte Perkins Gilman found truth and reality in the thoughts and emotions of their characters. This trend is especially evident in the yellow wallpaper, which traces a young mother's descent into madness as she struggles with what today's readers might recognize as postpartum depression. Ultimately, however, what all realist authors had in common was an interest in truth and a belief that by honestly depicting the gritty details of everyday life, good writing could change the world. Thank you.